Hey, good afternoon guys. So we are at Fun Motorsports in Saskatoon. We got the enclosed trailer. That can only mean one thing. New unit time. <laughs> Bow. Wow. Do you guys remember when we went to Sweden, Mrs. Asta rode a 450 six by six? I put a rip the crap out of this on the new track. On the new track. Like, she literally went I'm through so everything. Insane. We were stuck, she floated right on by. I'm like, we gotta get Mrs. Asta a 450 six by six. So boom! And, this. and a Riker. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing is a two up. I guess they don't sell six by sixes that aren't two ups now. So, so we're gonna be doubling. We're gonna be Team Power Bar. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. So yeah, uh, plans. Gonna try to throw some 28s. Get some cool accessories. We gotta get a winch. We gotta make this sucker. Uh, Work worthy. She can be a new little workhorse around the property. Honestly, these things are freaking awesome. They're so much lighter. Little single cylinder 450. They just float. Everything on them is really, really basic and lightweight. <laughs> Guard came to see the new 6x6. <laughs> get on, get on there, get on there. We'll show you what Team Power Bar looks like. Okay, get that thing in the trailer. Is it pretty comfy? Very comfy. Nice. Here. That's gonna be my seat, so. <laughs> awesome. I don't know if we really needed the enclosed, kind of overkill, but she's gonna ride home in style, that's for sure. Okay, guys, we're gonna get her home, and we're gonna do, we're gonna go for a rip. First thing we do when we get home, we'll go for a rip. All right, top speed test. Okay guys, Mrs. Asa calls me a nerd, but I couldn't wait to take it for a little spin. <laughs> it actually rips. I hit 52 miles per hour. Look how cool too. It's got XMR snorkels right up to the pod. So you're good for you're good for rock deep exploration for sure. That two-up seat is super comfortable. It's got a really cool little tray back, and they got a lot of accessories that clip into here. I'll have to look. And a cool little nice little kind of semi-sealed little bag in here super rad <laughs> but no man it's super super cool i already got it all dusty look at the best part it comes with the diff bellows sweet this is one sweet little unit look at that little rear end she's all tire i think these are just 26s you guys yeah 26 10s on the back and probably eights up front she is gonna float so if we had bigger tires we're definitely gonna have to do the xmr trim basically right down there and then uh, the back, because the back, once you uh, the suspension compresses, you know how the trailing arms work, right? They get further away. So the back might be okay. And we'll definitely have enough room in between the tires. So yeah, she should be sweet. I don't know what this little weird tray is under here. You could put like a jerry can or something under there. I guess you wouldn't want it too close to the exhaust, but it looks like you could carry something under there. But I'm definitely gonna have to take a look in the catalog. Oh man, I forgot that. Had my hoodies in the back here all the time. I can't believe they didn't fly out. So I guess gonna give her a quick rinse off. And uh, she's a little dusty. I feel bad. But uh, we got like half an hour on it now. So, but first impressions is it is a freaking blast. I am pretty sure they did exactly what they do with the defenders. I'm pretty sure the old frame starts there, and they just bolt off, bolt on the back subframe down there too. I'm pretty sure that this back subframe just bolts on. You know what else I'm pretty sure about? What? You didn't take I know, I, told, I said I can't believe I didn't lose them. <laughs> They're all dirty now. <laughs> so they needed to be pre-washed anyway, so. They needed to be pre-dirtied up. Yeah, pre-dusted pre up. But yeah, I'm pretty sure looking at it, that's I think that's what they did. So, big bolt plate on the bottom there too. 
So I have no idea if this is the same center diff as the 1000s and 650s. And rear diff, rear diff looks the same. Axles look smaller. What do you guys think? Kind of hard to tell. But, well, there's part number, if you guys know. Or maybe this is a, a different part number for the 450s. I have no idea. Center diff, you wouldn't think they would make a bunch of different center diffs for their 6x6s. For the Outlander, for the larger one and the smaller one. So I bet you the center one is the same. Frickin' cool! Hey, good morning, guys. So we got a real fun view. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> I don't know if it's grasshoppers or whatever. We got a really awesome fun video today. So we're gonna take our new little 456x6 that we picked up at Fun Motorsports. We finally got it home. Mrs. Austin's new build. We gotta think of a name for this thing. The That's floater. The the, <laughs> the defender. The the beat of, the best of them all. So anyways, uh, when we were in Sweden, uh, I'll throw in a couple little clips. Um, we were all getting stuck. They have really, really good muskeg there. And Mrs. Austin was just driving right by us with this little 456 by six. New line, new line. There we go. Come over here. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, that was freaking awesome! Look at that juice. I think after today, everyone's gonna trade in every... <laughs> Simon? Crazy tart! <laughs> <laughs> it's a light little unit, little 450 single, single cylinder. It's got a tray back. It doesn't tilt. Um, so you got this drain plug. I just took the drain plug out and I put it in the storage box. I took the two up seat off. So we're just gonna go. Uh, we're just gonna go rip around today. See what I you think I of it. Obviously, I'm not even touching this thing. It's gonna stay stock. <laughs> Um, because that's the smoothest and awesomest ride. I mean, those machines ride like awesome as well, but this one's going to stay stock. Um, Stock-ish. Stock-ish. <laughs> so what's nice about climbing with the 6x6 is the frame is so long it's so stable on on inclines so it That's goes up it goes up <laughs> it goes up hills so good and it has a lot of snort like they got the gearing just perfect for that little 450 single motor <laughs> it's uh it's really narrow isn't it yeah. this is like the ultimate hunter's rig She's like it's for everything. exactly it'll <laughs> fit on the trail we got to go do that trail to the river outlook with it it'll be so nice we usually try to bash a side by side through and the trail's really tight this thing will just like go through like nothing Okay guys, we are out here at our little uh, 
our little swamp holes. Look at this thing. It looks pretty deep. <laughs> so the 456 by six comes snorkeled up to the pod. So I told Mrs. Asta, once you're about rack deep, that's that's about max. So we'll try not to flutter out. So she's gonna take her through. So we got this one, and then she'll come back around and we'll go over there and we'll do that one. You think she could jump that? And then, it, oh, it could easily jump that. We'll do that after. <laughs> that one's super simple to jump. Okay, here we go. <laughs> no, it's good. I don't think it gets any deeper. Is the is the bottom real real mushy? I don't know, but it's like gets deep there. It goes real deep. <laughs> like. Maybe I'll go I'll go through with full pull and I'll see. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a test run with full pull first. We got a little bit of rain, so it could be, it could very well be quite a bit deeper. So we'll take a rip through with full pull. Okay, plan B. We're gonna go over to this one. I don't think this one's quite as deep. This guy, this guy looks like it could be, I don't know, three or three and a half feet, maybe four feet deep in that hole. Come start at this end. So I want her to start at this end, because this end here, I got full pull stuck, if you can believe it. It is so mucky. But if you keep up your speed, you can get past the muck and then it's okay. There's a technique to mud holes always, right guys? <laughs> you gotta go fast through this little part. Remember, it's real mucky. That was the opposite of fast, but <laughs> the six by six pulls through. <laughs> That's why I was so excited to get my hands on one of these. The flotation, especially on this unit, lighter motor, lighter everything is just unreal. Like this, the bottom of this is just pure goo. And we aren't exactly running <laughs> mud tires, but Six wheel drive for the win. Woo! Well, now she's got to see if she can go that way. I think she'll get stuck there, but you never know. You can't count the six by six out. So my whole uh, uh, point of these little water holes is we're gonna make a little mud race circuit uh, from one pit of water to the other. It should be a, a freaking blast. Okay, so there's all fine. Right here is where it starts getting really mucky. Like I said, this is where I got full pull stuck. Yeah, it's real muck there. Hopefully she can back out of this. I couldn't even back out with full pull. We had to uh, winch it out. Look at this! Wow, you guys, seriously! <laughs> That's why I love this thing. It is just like, it's it blows your mind that something like that, like that little 450 has just enough snort to, like not even mud tires, you guys. Can you imagine you put little assassinators on this thing? You'd never stop it. I thought for sure it's there's no way. <laughs> The, the limo. Yeah. <laughs> so overall, what do you think about this thing? It's like, what do you think about the ride, the handling, the power steering? I miss, I miss our old six by six now because of that. Totally, hey. But, but you know, I, I like the fact that it's not so powerful that you feel scared. Yeah. But I mean, this long wheelbase makes a whole huge difference. Like the comfort and the smooth ride is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Before we. Before we had the shirt, Mrs. Austin rode the 6x6 a lot. And it just, I don't know, with that extra axle, the extra length, it's just like, it's the smoothest ride on the trail. Just don't put tracks on it. You can put that little video right there. <laughs> <laughs> tracks are fine. Just don't hit a stump. <laughs> hey, David. What did I do? <laughs> You really messed some stuff up. <laughs> it's looking good now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, so uh, that would be our plan. Maybe uh, I think the same set of tracks for the 650 and 1000 fit on the 450. So if that's the case, man, we got to put tracks on this baby. This would be the ultimate flotation. It could I, be 12 feet deep. Right now, that's too deep for this. Okay, we'll try it in full pole and we'll see. But overall, score out of 100. I, where's my. <laughs> <laughs> but no, actually, it is a freaking. Super cool, with a few little mods, it's gonna be even better. It's we funny, just It's funny the difference, um, you know, me riding, um, you know, the Sherf and everything, but you know, like I had the Outlander, I really missed that, you know, and I thought, well, you know, it's kind of way more work to work that, but this one, man, it's perfect little gonna go to all around here, it's gonna be perfect. Awesome. the throttle this you got to let off you know i think if i would have maybe if i would have carried enough momentum on the first pull mate nah i don't think i would have dang broken drive shaft Woo! it's least easy to fix so we're gonna go get cleaned up i'm gonna lick my wounds because that little 456 by six made it and i couldn't <laughs> just told me out no problem so i'll show you guys what broke what i think broke it, it went oh yeah um hang on sorry get the gopro off all right there you guys see that snap so yeah they kind of make that as a fuse um, just so you don't break your through shaft. Otherwise you have to pull your motor, split your case to replace a through shaft. This super easy. Um, take off your bands, um, slide your diff forward, boom, boom. Like a half hour fix versus multi, multi hour fix. So that is literally, that's the first drive shaft I've ever broke, front drive shaft. I blew a rear drive shaft a couple times before. Probably not keeping up on greasing, but yeah, reverse, reverse override with 34 assassinators in that really gross mud there. I still can't believe that thing went through. It's got no tires on it. You imagine when we put tires on it? I did I wasn't I didn't think it got through, but I wasn't gonna get through, but then I just went off thought on that little angle and it 
Yeah, tiny, that's awesome. You just didn't try to go in this exact same ruts. You just went off a little. But I don't think how many times I tried it, because how many times I tried before, I never oh, made it once. Yeah, it was like, I only oh. made it going that way where you just skim over the mud and then that part's fine. Just this first part's really gooey, but that's awesome for a race, right? You need some challenge. So what my idea is, is you know you can go pit to pit start at that pit come up here go through that pit back and then through the culvert for the finish that'd be freaking exciting that'll be fun it's as heck <laughs> we can have teams of two as well um especially once this once we start riding this more and it starts getting more gooey on the bottom teams of two would be awesome because if one's stuck the other guy can help so we'll have teams of two and and when the last guy crosses the finish line your time stops and then the next team goes man that's gonna be exciting all right no way, you got, oh yeah, this this summer. Yeah, you got the old tan going on. The legs are still white. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna gingerly drive full pull back to the shop there, order a new front drive shaft. What about that? And uh, yeah, I'll pick that up. Oh yeah, I can jump that. That'll jump like nothing, you'll you'll see. Okay, I'll jump it. Okay, this thing's actually gonna jump. <laughs> okay. I might try it one time. Not today. Maybe later. Sketch it. Was it fun? Was it fun? It was so smooth. I was just bracing, but it was just so smooth. Okay. Okay, let's get cool. her home. Good to go. Hi, let's go. Today. Today's forecast, a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds, just the perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast, we'll be right back. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny day. No clouds in the sky, but again, away feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me cause I'm gonna be on break. Sunny day, sunny day, man. All the stress and doubt, yeah, not today. Feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me cause I'm gonna be on break. We got the little six by six all cleaned up, mostly, not quite spit shine, but look at this little guy, he's excited. So we got her all ready. Um, I just want to take this time to say a huge thank you to you guys for watching, commenting, liking, sharing the videos. Without you guys, we absolutely would not be able to do what we do without you guys. So we appreciate you guys, we love you guys, and also a huge thank you to Can-Am. Thank you to Can-Am for sending us this little beast. We look so forward to putting a lot more miles on it. We've got a big trip coming up really quick to Northern BC. We're gonna take the little six by six. We're gonna see how she does in the mountains. So anyways, till next time, till next video. See you guys later.